Hello. Let's do a little walk around video of my 1956 Shasta trailer. This is a Shasta 1500. It has just freshly been restored. Um, everything is pretty much all new or refurbished. Um, it's 15 foot long trailer. That's counting the tongue and it's got all new aluminum skin. Um, new, uh, tropical turquoise paint it's off of a 58 edsel color on the bottom the white is just the arctic white that the aluminum comes with as you can see it's got new diamond back wide white wall radial tires on new t rims and the brakes and all that have been checked out and everything's functioning it's got two marker lights in the back two tail lights and a license plate light in the back that's all rewired everything is working like new it's got one little storage compartment down here on the side that accesses underneath the bed for storage. And it's got a little plug deal there for a 110 volt outlet, which is convenient while you're camping. It's got uh, windows that tip out on both sides of the bedroom and one in the back. It's got new Shasta decals on it all the way around, except for the metal plaque that's original. And we've got another access door over here that accesses the storage under the bed as well. The black cover is for the 110 power hookup to it. We've got the uh, water hose hookup. If you want to, if you're in a campground and hook it to a hose, that's where it hooks up. The little door next to it has the uh, um, sewer drain hookups and valves, which you, there's a photo in the gallery. It's got one jealousy window over the kitchen. It's got a small window over the bathroom. Like all Shastas, the front side windows are fixed. They do not open. And it's got the little water fill for the 10 gallon fresh water tank that's brand new right here. On the tongue, it has a seven pin trailer connector. It's a standard RV seven pin connector. See if I can get that up and show it. It's a seven pin connector. New safety chains, two of them as required nowadays. And the new propane tank, the regulator, and the valves, everything is new on the propane system. And it's got one tip out window in the front. Um, I don't know much what else to say on the outside. It's all new. The uh, trailer was all insulated with poly iso cryocyanate insulation, which is the best I have found for these old campers. It gives it much better insulation than the quarter inch of fiberglass batting it had to to start with. We have one entrance door. And so let's go inside and uh, take a quick tour of the interior of the trailer. The door is brand new. It's all birch wood. The uh, screen door is freshly built. It's got a little slider here that you close when you're using it so that the bugs don't get in. You slide it open to get access to the door handle when the screen door is open. And inside the trailer, it's all new birchwood paneling. The whole cabin was rebuilt with all new wood. Uh, well, the new paneling. Some of the wood was the original. I like old growth trees better than new trees so if i can save the original wood in the camper i do if it's compromised at all i replace it it's got a brand new floor that is uh marmoleum and the one thing that we might notice right off the bat is this one has well turn the knob the right way it does have a little bathroom granted it's a little small but I stand six foot two and 200 pounds and I can stand up in there or sit down and close the door. So if it's big enough for me, I may be difficult for some people of maybe a larger size. It's got a little bathroom light. It's got the little 12 volt LED light in here. And that's the bathroom in the camper. Up front, we have the dinette. Granted, one side is a little small because of the bathroom takes up space. You gotta have give up something for a bathroom. And the table's been recovered with new laminate. The little clock radio, that's a vintage Westinghouse radio that has been converted to Bluetooth. The clock does run when it is plugged in. It's got a 
the original 12 volt or original light up here has been converted to 12 volt and the gas lantern is up here this was originally a gas lantern well we cheat a little bit and now it's an electric led lantern but it looks just like the uh gas lantern when it's lit by the way it glows with the uh mantle on it and it may be redundant but it's kind of good for mood lighting and it's dimmable and it'll even flicker when it's down low kind of cool it's got two storage cabinets up here with sliders to access them it's got the laminate on those just like it came from the factory over here we have the stove the oven it's been refurbished and tested checked out it uh has an oven three burner cooktop everything works like it should we have one ac outlet right here on the galley and the sink all new uh all the cabinets are original but have been refinished the drawers and the shelves and everything are all lined with this uh plastic sheeting back here we have another lamp in the very back and those mount those brackets above it is for a bunk bed we do have the original canvas bunk um i do not like them in the trailer while i'm towing because they have a tendency to bounce off when they do it breaks that rank or scars the wall so i don't usually carry them in there the mattress is brand new as is all the bedding all of that is include, included with the sale Bring some uh, dishes and food and camp in it on your way home if you're the lucky bidder. It's got a storage access door there to go underneath the uh, bed. And up here we have just some extra storage cabinets. This is handy to have plenty of storage. It's got a brand new Frigidaire electric only fridge. And it's brand new. It's, uh, I think it was like a four cubic foot refrigerator. It does have a little snap down here to snap on it to hold the door shut while you're towing. Over here we have a full size, well, full length closet just about. And it's got some storage, a lot of nice storage in there. Otherwise, all the way up front, we do have the classic Shasta uh, magazine rack that uh, is always kind of a unique feature to the Shasta. And you can see the uh, shine on the birch wood this is birch wood paneling and it's done with amber shellac amber shellac is a product of the 50s and it gives that wood the nice glow that vintage campers have when they're done in my opinion correctly and so that is pretty much oh it's got one jealousy window jealousy windows are what they call these with the uh louvered window panes over the kitchen you just turn the knob to close those it does have a roof vent up here on the top kind of a skylight as well when it's dark and so i believe i don't know what else to show inside this little camper everything you see in the picture does come with it everything has been redone underneath the uh, left dinette is a water tank water pump the water pump has a switch right here to turn on when the water pump is on then the water will run with the fresh water out of the water tank if you're hooked to a hose you don't need to do that the water just runs just like a normal house then underneath this side has got a 12 volt power converter that allows the lights to work off of 12 volts when you're not plugged in if you're plugged in, they still work just the same. It's, it makes it kind of seamless, kind of like a modern RV. There's also a brand new deep cycle battery in a sealed box underneath this dinette. There are pictures in the gallery. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through the either comments or the contact me button up on the top. And hopefully someone is a lucky winner. It's a no reserve auction, so it will sell to the highest bidder, and someone can have fun camping, going to vintage camper rallies, and enjoying this little camper. Thank you for watching my video.